Hey, this is Brother Jeff, and I'm going to walk you through how to get started with the new Lectora layouts from the uh, template library. To get to them, just navigate to Layouts, come down to Lectora Layouts, and you'll see a bunch of different layouts that you can use inside of Lectora. Go ahead and select the one you want, and then from here you can select the different sizes. Uh, there's two different sizes, 948 by 520 and then 720 by 540. Now both of those you can actually resize them to fit if your player, your presentation area is a different size, you can actually go in and you can resize that to fit. Now these two sizes will actually fit perfectly inside of our Lectora players, uh, whether you're using the wide version or if you're using the standard version. Uh, those are the two different sizes you can choose from. I'm going to go ahead and choose the 948 by 520 and just click download. And what happens is it downloads a folder to my desktop. So let me go ahead and navigate to my desktop here. And I have this simple rounder 940 by 520. And I have this course here that I can open up inside of Lectora. Now, if I want just the PNG files, if I want to, if I don't want the layouts already, I just want the PNG files and the PSD files, the Photoshop files, I can just go ahead and download those, which we'll talk about those here in a second. But let me come over to Lectora, and I already have a sample course already built, and I'm going to use some of those layouts inside of the sample course. Um, but in order to get the layouts, I actually need to open up another version of Lectora. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this version. And the same goes with Lectora 10. If you have Lectora 10, this will work as well. Uh, currently, I'm using Lectora 11. And I'm going to go ahead and browse for that course that I just downloaded. And let's go ahead and just get that on my desktop here. And I'm going to open up that project file. Now, if I navigate through the different project files, you'll see there's up to 42 pages on each of these different layouts. Um, and if I navigate through the different uh, pages, I can see the different types of layouts. And this just gives me an idea of the different types of things that I can do. Now, let's say I come across something that I want to use, like this page, for example. Well, the only thing I really have to do here is hit Control-C for copy and then come over to my current project that I want to use the layout and then I'm going to hit within my course content area I'm going to hit control V and this will paste my course inside of this uh, project here now I may need to do some different uh, arrangements depending if it's uh, you downloaded the course style uh, previous be, uh, before uh, because we've made some changes to actually uh, the layouts to have it fit perfectly inside of there. Uh, but this, this course was actually built before those changes were made. So all I have to do is basically come over, select all the content, and then just move that up a little bit to fit within the presentation area. And I may need to resize it a little bit. But that's how you start adjusting your content Actually, let me select that again. Just move that down a little bit. And then I'll move the shader down a little bit. And there we go. So that's how you start adjusting your content to start uh, to work inside of uh, Lectorum to grab a page from one existing project, the different layouts, to copy the entire page, or you can just copy the different elements. If you just want to grab this element and paste it into these other element. Now let's say you want to do some visual changes to these different layouts. Or let's say you want to have a background actually transfer over as well. Um, let's come into this, uh, this background here. All I have to do is grab, you'll notice it's on the player level. All I have to do is grab the rectangle as well as the gradients, hit control C, come over to my course and go into my, my player level and then hit control B and this may need to replace a shape if there is a shape in there, but this will um, this will copy over the contents, the uh, background for your player as well. So that's how you get over the background as well as the different layouts. Now let's say if we wanted to make a change visually to these, how do I do that? Well, coming back into the library, all you have to do is download the work files. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit work files, click on download, and this will download PNGs as well as PSDs. So you'll notice that it has the uh, image files label at the end of the folder. Just double click into that. 
and we have two different folders here. We have image files, PNGs, and we have work files, which are the PSDs. Well, the PNGs are PNGs that you, you can still edit, but they're a little bit harder to edit. If you go into the PSD files um, and open that up, it will open up inside of Photoshop. And then you can change the reflection, you can change the color, uh, different aspects of it. So let me open this up in Photoshop here. Just move that over a little bit. And we have three different layers. We have the actual square here. We have a drop or a reflection and also added onto the square is a drop shadow. If I wanted to change the color of this square, all I have to do is double click on it. It'll pull up with my layer style and then I can come into color overlay and change the color to whatever color I wanted to. If I wanted a different color or I can come in and do gradient overlay and I can change this more into a gradient. Go ahead and just select a lighter color so we just get a slight gradient from white to slight gray. And go ahead and click OK. And now I can save this, go to File, Save As, and save it on my desktop somewhere as a PNG. And now I can bring that image. Let's go ahead and create a new page. I'm going to right click, actually come up to the top, just create a new page. And so let's just name it page six for now. I'll just leave it defaulted there. Add an object, an image. Go ahead and navigate it to my desktop. Grab that image. And now I can just place, this is just a slight change, but there is a gradient going from top to bottom. And I can place that uh, image wherever I want to on my content area. So that's how you navigate, or that's how you uh, copy in a page from the layout already built for you, or how you download an image and make some changes to the image, as well as copy in that image any changes that you make into Lectora.